for the guys that are new here my name's frederick i'm a steel building contractor my specialty is building steel buildings and erecting steel buildings all over south georgia in the usa i hope that i can help you in some way i hope that uh you learn something from my videos i'm here just to help people and i'm also here to learn so if you got some better tricks or trades leave a comment down below let me know how i can do better because we get better each day and you can only get better if you don't do it right the first time doing it wrong a couple times you just get it you pick yourself up you keep going and you do it do a better job the next time and you learn by your mistakes that's the way i've done it never really had a teacher my my dad passed away when i was a teenager so my whole working career has just been learning as i go and each job i feel like i get better i'm not a pro just want to show you how we done it and maybe I can help some of you that ha hasn't ever done it. And so you'll learn some tricks with your knowledge, put it together. Maybe you'll even do it better than me. Let's get to the video. Let's build it. another episode in this episode we're going to cover pouring some concrete piers the building behind me is my personal shop and I'm wanting to bring a gable shelter out bring the roof system out another 30 feet put a 30 foot bay on it but first we have to start with the foundation and the foundation includes piers I'm not going to be pouring any uh, a concrete slab at this time. That may happen down the road. Right now, I'm just going to keep it dirt. I want a roof system for my equipment. I've got a couple of forklifts, skid steer, trailers. Sometimes we bring home materials on the trailers, so we need to back them under a shelter, maybe insulation or whatever, and we need uh, to keep them out of the weather. I'm not going to cover how we laid it out and got it square. The roll-up door here is the, right in front of that is the elevation of the concrete. That's where I started. I got my elevation off of that, and so I poured all these piers to the same elevation. I'm going to keep that same roof line so it looked like it was, wasn't added on and it was the same building from the beginning. The lean-to in the front of the shelter, that concrete actually starts at the same elevation, but it slopes two inches and 24 feet. The pier is actually uh, two inches lower than the other two on the main. So that way all my columns align up. The, the slabs, if I ever do pour that concrete slab, it will end up the same. piers for the main columns 30 inches by 30 inches by four foot deep and we're going to put rebar in them we're going to pour a, a 3000 psi concrete we don't need fiber because it's just piers and that dirt is going to hold it they do elevate out of the ground four to six inches of the concrete will be exposed i also done that on the lean-to pier it's four foot deep 30 inches by 30 inches 
but here at the existing wall rather than add on to the existing framing because actually that wall is framed with wood and with different materials and I'm going to use red steel as my uh as my roof system on this gable shelter I didn't want to put a heavy frame I beam or tapered tapered rafter and column up there so I'm, I'm going to use cold rolled steel and it's actually what we call a light in wall non-expandable so I'm going to put four columns here one one beside each on each side of the roll-up door and one at each corner therefore I can use a lighter rafter but the one that's 30 foot away from the shop will actually be a heavy duty I-beam frame expandable frame that way if I did want to add on later and it'll be a clear span this is a 40 foot across on the building and then I've got a 24 foot lean-to on the front I'm actually going to add that on to so I'll end up with a, a gable shelter plus the lean-to all on this end of the building and this will be for parking the equipment <music> Column at the other end. 